In this video, we present an overview of the functionalities and information contained in Box 4 of Kesa. In Box 4, the assessor can build the final exposure scenarios and eventually generate the chemical safety report. The assessor can also generate an export file to be uploaded in Euclid for transferring information from Kesa to Euclid section 3.5 and 3.7. This can be based on the quantitative exposure estimates that were carried out in box 3 or on qualitative considerations when no DNELs or PNEX are available. KESA provides a functionality to help with the finalization of the assessment. By clicking the Create Default Risk Characterization button Default exposure scenarios with all contributing scenarios and risk characterizations are created for the full life cycle tree. For workers and consumers, this means merging the various conditions of use which impact the exposure on the various routes. To review the information generated by this function, select a contributing scenario in the life cycle tree displayed on the left-hand side of the screen. In this example, we initially focus on a worker contributing scenario for a formulation use where a quantitative assessment is required and only one exposure estimate is provided for each route. When a contributing scenario is selected in the life cycle tree, two sections are displayed on the right-hand side the exposure scenario building and risk characterization and the exposure scenario section. In the exposure scenario building and risk characterization section, the risk characterization type, the exposure estimate and the risk characterization ratio are reported for each route. The main and supportive assessments are also shown. Information on this will be explained later in the video along with a practical example. In addition, for each given route, if the risk characterization type is quantitative and the corresponding risk characterization ratio is less than 1, a green tick icon is displayed. If the risk characterization ratio is greater or equal to 1, a red no entry icon is displayed. For qualitative or semi quantitative risk characterization, the question mark icon is displayed as long as the risk characterization is not finalized. The exposure scenario section displays all the conditions of use and risk management measures. If additional information is needed, to further substantiate the risk characterization, you can edit the field Conclusion on the risk characterization. The content of this field will be reported in the CSR at the end of the related contributing scenario. Let's now address the case in this contributing scenario related to a use for professional workers when several exposure estimates are available for a given route. By running the default risk assessment functionality, the exposure estimate with the lowest exposure value is selected automatically and is used for the risk characterization. This is called the main assessment in KESA. Other exposure estimates can be selected as supportive assessment meaning that they will be reported for information in the exposure section of the CSR. To select supportive assessments or to change the default selection, click on Select Assessments in the tab Exposure Scenario Building and Risk Characterization. Here you can classify your assessments as main or supportive. The exposure estimations from the main exposure assessment 
will be used to calculate the risk characterization ratio. For this reason, it is important to remember that you always have to have one assessment selected as main. The exposure scenario section displays all the conditions of use and risk management measures corresponding to the main assessments. If you need to add other conditions of use in the form of determinants, this can be done by clicking on the Add icon in the tab and selecting the appropriate condition of use from the list available. This may be the case where no DNEL is reported for a specific route for human health. A qualitative or semi-quantitative exposure assessment is then required. For that, the assessor will have to check that adequate measures are described in the exposure scenario to control the risks and if not to add them as determinants. The conditions of use should be previously imported or created in box 6 of KESA in order to make them available for selection. The additional good practice determinant can also be added in the same tab if relevant. All conditions of use added in box 4 can be edited and or removed at any time. Once all the adequate measures are described in the exposure and risk characterization section, the assessor should provide an adequate justification that the risk is controlled. To do so, click on the button Edit Qualitative Semi-Quantitative Risk Characterization to justify how the measures described in the contributing scenario can ensure that the risks are controlled. The justification should cover all the routes or types of effects requiring qualitative assessment. Once the qualitative risk characterization is finalized, the green icon with a tick is displayed for all the corresponding routes. The qualitative or semi-quantitative risk characterization has to be carried out manually for each contributing scenario in the life cycle tree where it is required in order to finalize the assessment in box 4. For the environmental contributing scenario, the e-usis assessment is automatically selected as the main assessment when running the create default risk characterization functionality. Other exposure estimates can only be selected as supportive by clicking on the Select Assessment button. If necessary, you can provide further information in the Conclusion on the Risk Characterization field, as is the case for the Human Health Contributing Scenarios. If qualitative risk characterization is required, as it is for human health contributing scenarios, it can be finalized by adding further determinants in the Exposure Scenario tab and by clicking on Edit Qualitative Risk Characterization. Make sure you provide adequate justification. For environmental contributing scenarios of PBT substances, the exposure assessment aims to identify the conditions of use that minimise the emissions. These should have been reported in box 3 during the environment exposure estimation. Here you can select Edit Risk Characterization PBT to have access to a text box where you will be able to justify how emissions are minimised. Once all contributing scenarios defined for a specific exposure scenario are finalised and the risk is demonstrated to be controlled, additional explanations on the approach specifically taken for that exposure scenario can be provided. This can be done by selecting a use in the life cycle tree and by pressing the edit icon to edit the field explanation on the approach taken for the ES 
CSR exposure scenario. This may include, for example, considerations on the exposure assessment methods applied. Such explanations will be reported at the beginning of the related exposure scenario in the CSR. Additionally, the user can also provide general explanations that will be reported in section 9.0 of the CSR to facilitate its understanding. Select the node Common Considerations available at the top of the tree and press the Edit icon on the right hand side under the relevant tab. Two sections become editable. Comments on assessment approaches where the assessor can explain the approach to the assessment for several or all exposure scenarios. This may include explanations on the assessment methods applied or on the approach taken to identify the representative operational conditions and risk management measures for the different uses. The assessment approach can be described for the environment, workers and consumers. A specific field is dedicated to comments on assessment approaches for workers related to physicochemical hazards. This, as the general information or risk management related to physical chemical hazards, is relevant if the substance is classified as flammable, explosive or with oxidising properties. General information on risk management related to toxicological hazards where specifications of risk management measures that apply to all exposure scenarios where such a risk management is relevant can be reported and physicochemical hazards where packages of risk management measures to be applied can be described for example, by using the precautionary statements as a basis. It should be indicated to which exposure scenarios, one or more, the measures are meant to apply. By pressing the Generate CSR button on the toolbar, the tool will generate a document containing section 9 and 10 of the CSR. By clicking the button Export CSR in the toolbar, the user can export a zip file of the CSR that may be used by the Euclid Report Generator to generate a full CSR and to export the relevant information to Euclid sections 3.5 and 3.7. Please note that in all Box 4 screens a help text bulb is visible. If clicked, it points the user directly to the relevant point of the user manual from where further information on the related functionality can be retrieved quickly. This was an overview of Box 4 of Keza, where the assessor can build the final exposure scenarios and generate the CSR. You can find further information on Box 4 in the support page of the Keza website.